questions for Coach? Mike, against a very potent and powerful offense, your defense again shines. Can you talk about the pride in that side of the ball, please? I'm, I'm real proud of them. There's no doubt about it. You watch uh, Purdue on film all week, and it's it's scary. I mean, they are explosive. Uh, obviously, Rondell Moore is a great player. Uh, quarterback's been playing awesome. A whole bunch of trick plays and gadgets, and uh, um, they are explosive. And very, very proud of the guys. And when they sling it around like that and pass it 50 times, you know, what we've been saying is we need to come up with some big plays following those. We had three interceptions, obviously one to end the game. So, yeah, proud of the performance. Okay, I was going to say that too about, you know, Chuck coming in see the whole focus on ball disruption and all those things. To be able to kind of put this game away and turn the ball over and making those big plays, how satisfying is that just for this whole evening? Well, that's what you need to do against a team like Purdue. I think we played, um, you know, in terms of yards, significantly better in the first half, but you knew they were going to come back out and keep doing what they do, and eventually they're going to gain those yards. But uh, we need to come up with big plays. And I think they've only turned the ball over five times on the year. I, I could be wrong on that, but not a whole bunch, let's put it that way. So um, that is what we needed to do, and it got done. Mike, you watch these guys score six offensive touchdowns against Ohio State. What was job one today? So, we felt like the last couple games, we gave up too many rushing yards and it wasn't in our DNA, that's not who we are. And so we actually went back to step one and step two and what they've always been, which is stop the run and harass the quarterback and not talk about passing yards. Say, so don't worry about that. Stop the run, harass the quarterback, and then come up with those, with those turnovers. But um, you do, you turn on last week's film and see how many points and yards they put up against a highly ranked Ohio State team, and you know the challenge is there for you, and there are guys who are excited about the challenge, and especially after last week and how difficult that was emotionally, it was good to see our guys' minds and emotions in the right place. You mentioned that the quarterback hurries one sack. I guess, what, what do you see from your guys up front to get that pressure, especially with that hurry up offense? Yeah, they changed the tempo on us in the second half, which took us a, a minute to adjust. It did not show a whole bunch of fast tempo going into this game. They're no huddle, but they haven't been fast tempo. So we had to adjust. I think we did a good job of keeping him in the pocket. You know, he's a guy that scrambles better than you want him to. You see a lot of uh, third down, long yard situations on film the end of this game where he scrambled. He's not a super tall kid. So as long as you can keep squeezing the pocket, if, even if you don't end up with sacks, if you can keep squeezing the pocket, make him have to see over our big boys, and hopefully in the long run, the ball ends up in your hands. Yeah. Rondell had a, did have 11 catches tonight for Purdue Butler today for Purdue, but it seemed like your defense did a really good job of you know containing him and uh, you know whether he was going in motion uh, the slot in the back. It seemed like Kari Wills especially you know seemed to have the responsibility. And just talk about how you guys tried to defend him and how Kari you know did his job there. Kari's been a great player this year. You watch the Spartans play this year, and and Kari has uh, played his best football, and that's what you need. Coach D'Antoni always says your seniors need to play their best as seniors, and Carr has been phenomenal this year, and he did. He had the challenge, uh, especially winning nickel and dime, of being the guy that matched up on him. And he's going to get his catches, but uh, didn't result in a bunch of touchdowns, which is the key. Do two more, Ryan, and then Hondo. Mike Ray here. Uh, you mentioned Ohio State and 49 points Purdue puts up on uh, that defense. The takeaway from that for you is you go over that film, you hold Purdue to 13. It seemed like there was a bend but don't break. You had several possessions by Purdue in your own territory. Was there a turning point or something that stood out to you that you knew the game plan was going according to play? Well, I thought in the first half we did uh, some great things, getting them off the field quickly. I don't think we were on the field a whole bunch in the first half at all. But then we did recognize when they came out slinging it around in the second half that there were going to be some yards to be gained, but you need to tighten up as you get closer to the end line, and, and they did do that. Um, probably one drive I was disappointed in was when we got up 10 and let them go down the field quickly, and after that, we were basically in our nickel or dime personnel the rest of the game, so we had to make a change at that point because of the change they made. But, uh, yeah, there, there's a little bit of bend, but don't break, break when there's explosive players on the field. Mike, 26 of 46, Rocky went, and when he was running the scout team, you told us that you guys were impressed with him, thought when his time came he'd be special. His first start as a freshman, but did you see what you saw when he ran scout team today? Love Rocky as a competitor. Love Rocky as a competitor. And, you know, Coach Warner and the offensive staff, I had no idea what the plan was in terms of using him. Um, I know he can bowl people over. He bowled us over. And then uh, 
especially when you get him moving around and, and allow him to have time to find those targets. He did an awesome job. You, you guys should have heard the Rocky chant in the locker room before I came over here. The whole team of Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. It was awesome. And very proud of him, but I knew that's the type of competitor he was. All right. Thanks,